Well, I'm hosting a chairing a session where we're talking about um, towards truly personalised therapies for cancer of the esophagus. This is a completely neglected area, really, of research. Um, we know that the UK has the highest incidence of esophageal adenocarcinoma of anywhere in the world. Uh, rates have risen rapidly over the last 30 or 40 years, and survival, unfortunately, remains at around 15 per cent. So to try to counter that, there have been some significant initiatives. The speakers are going to talk about um, a multi-centred study that looks at um, how we define response to chemotherapy in esophageal cancer. And this tells us something fundamental about the number of people that respond and whether we can develop biomarkers for more sensible stratified trials. We're also going to hear from the Cambridge group who have performed um, the first real genomic profiling of esophageal adenocarcinoma. And this, is, this defines the genetic landscape of the disease. And for the first time, we're able to divide the disease into three molecular subtypes. That's really important because it informs future therapies. Um, and we're also going to hear about a new mouse model of esophageal cancer that describes how Barrett's esophagus, the only known precursor for cancer of the esophagus, transitions through a variety of stages to fully invasive disease and how we can use that to find tractable targets within that pathway. So it's, it's a really exciting time to hopefully make a big difference for a disease that really needs our impact. One of the most important things probably is how we use uh, the growing and developing cadre of immunotherapies in esophageal cancer. And that's where we're going to probably have most traction. Um, over 50% of uh, tumours, it's now shown, have a mutagenic phenotype. So they express neoantigens that could be targeted by immunotherapies. So there's going to be a range of trials, both in the uh, adjuvant or uh, progressive disease setting, but also hopefully in the neoadjuvant setting, where we might apply immunotherapy to cancer of the esophagus. And that would be a, a real change or step change in the way that we treat this disease. Yeah, esophageal adenocarcinoma is the most, we have the most highest prevalence in the UK and we're not certain why that is. It's something to do with our level of obesity coupled, coupled with acid reflux, but there must be a genetic component because other countries in the Western world are as, as obese as the UK, yet don't seem to have the same levels of incidence. So it's uncertain, but it's to do with those things. We might see out of this session, and I'm particularly interested in the discussion that goes around it, about where we go with the future of trials in esophageal cancer. Um, the NCRI Upper GI Trials Group um, has been looking at what we do with the next generation of trials and whether we can do something around stratified medicine and personalising therapies based on a preoperative biopsy or even based on the resectional specimen for those that can have an operation, about what we do in the adjuvant setting. So there's going to be something exciting, I hope come from the discussion around the next stage for trials.